Little Miss Naughty and the Good Fairy is a lovely story about the fact that good will always trump evil. First of all, though, that cover is absolutely stunning. It's got such a lovely design, written and illustrated by Adam Hargraves, published originally in 2003. And I'll get my one quibble out of the way, as I've mentioned this previously with these books. It's got a real problem. The Mr. Men and Little Miss books of recent have got a problem with common nouns. And that's definitely the case here. Because they use the word fairy, and it's a common noun. For example, it's a fairy ring. So it shouldn't be a capital F. And I know it's such a small thing, but you'd think they'd get it right with children's books. It's really not that difficult. And reading it as an adult, if I were reading that to a child, it would just really irritate me. I have reading it to myself, it really irritates me. But the story itself is quite cute. Little Miss Naughty steals the good fairy's wand. And she tries to do all kinds of evil things, such as putting a hole in the floor so Mr. Bump falls down. But it saves him from being hit by some bricks. She gets rid of the farmer's car cornfield, but it reveals his missing dog. And she learns from the good fairy that this wand cannot do any bad things. And that the goodness in the wand overrides the evilness in Little Miss Naughty. And I think that's such a powerful and important message. Obviously, the fun is the story is quite fun. It's definitely something that I think the target audience will enjoy. I just don't understand why they have a real problem with turning common nouns into fake proper nouns. For young children, I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference. But for me reading it to myself, or if I were reading it to a child, it would definitely just really bother me. It's not difficult. But that aside, it's a fun story with a really important and very well delivered message that I think is quite a delight to read.